stunned right there. Oh, big bada boom! The oh the reset! Oh, he got a double kill off of one and then reset with the other. Sarah's gameplay always enjoyable to watch. What's up everybody on the Mangus? You were awesome and today we're looking at the Chinese client video provided by Paragon the Overprime. This video switches around to a variety of heroes, but it does a great job of showcasing the different ability effects for the different tiers of skins. We got Kwang rocking the Shikan skin. He's had a lot of changes to his kit as we're going to see here. He's able to teleport a sword to a sword when he wants to and he has an invincible dash that you also saw. Plus, every third basic attack of his is a knock-up. So, and then it's a third one knocks up just like he did, and then he swings down and demolishes that howitzer. Now he's going after Rev, knocked him up. Rev is ulting him just to try and get away, I think. He tried to use the brute, but it's not going to work. He uses that dash once again, and it uh, looked like AoE damage took down Rev in it. Now he's going after howitzer in the off lane. Howitzer is going to try and get away. You can't... Kwong is so sticky now, so sticky with so much movement. I don't know if this was such a great idea to give Kwong this much goddamn movement. And, and he's knocking, I want to do an attack speed Kwong so I can just keep people constantly juggled in the air <laughs> as much as possible. Looks like Muriel is dashing into him, but that was a red indicator, which is a little odd. Throws the sword, he's going to run away. And he evades Narbash, goes right back to his sword and takes down Howitzer. But his sister is beating the shit out of him. Must be his older sister, it shouldn't be. And uh, she... I thought she was going to get the kill, but no, the Muriel shielding keeps Kwong alive, and the Thunk almost kills him. Oh, he's so low on health. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back and look at that. What I'm interested in here is uh, the Tier 4 skins have their own effects, which is really cool, but this Muriel has a red indicator for her landing, so I want to see if the Muriel is wearing a Tier 4 skin as well. So let's wait until we can get a good view of Muriel right there. It doesn't really seem like there's anything too special about this Muriel skin other than a red titty halo, so I don't know why she had red effects on her abilities. Maybe, I don't know, you guys let me know. What do you think? Why do you think she had a, a red indicator instead of her normal white indicator for her uh, reversal of fortune ultimate? We got Thing Barrel fighting in the prime pit. Looks like he's got like a, a bit of ability swing, like he's got some weird tracing around his... Uh, he, he, oh, he got stunned right there. Oh, big bada boom! The, oh, the reset! Oh, he got a double kill off of one and then reset with the other. Sarah's gameplay, always enjoyable to watch. She's going in after Sparrow takes her out, but she's in the middle of a gadget ultimate. Ga oh, gadget ultimate doesn't seem to be very effective, and that gadget's not very effective. She got the mine on her head. Oh my god, she <laughs> she immune the mine. Oh, let's take another look. Yeah, she, she immune the mine just in time. <laughs> the cooldown... Well, her little ghost angels came back just in time to immune that gadget mine. And now we're swapping to Countess. This this video is all over the damn place. Big steel ultimate followed by Countess jumping in. She doesn't even have to feast, but she did feast. She got to, she, I think she picked up a double kill there. She got the dark tide kill, and then she feasted in. Yep, there was the double kill. And now we got, now we got Gideon. Holy shit. So Gideon dropping the big bomb. Comes over the top with the black hole. He sucked them all in. That's more of a CC tool than a, a high damage tool, but... Gideon made it work. Now he's jumping in. To see if oh, he's checking the bushes. Oh, they got ulted. It was an ultimate. Oh, got him with the, gets him with the suction cup. Is he going to get this kill? He drops a meteor and gets another kill. This Gideon is amazing. And let's go back and look at that meteor. Sorry, we keep going back in these, but we got to. We got to. We're going to slow this way down. This is something Dapper Dice called my attention to. So his meteor when he's in his steampunk form isn't a meteor, it's a collection of gears and cogs and springs and shit. And when it explodes, you see a bunch of gears and stuff go flying out. Oh, that that is so freaking cool. And you saw a little bit of stop motion when it actually hit. Oh, so cool. So cool. Now he's flying off into the jungle. He's got the red buff and the blue buff. I guess he... Okay, now we're switching to Shinbi. I was about to call her Bora. And we got more skin effects. We got these the, the black and gold, the black and yellow, black and yellow on the Shinbi handbox skin. And she is laying it down as Shinbi does. Not... I mean, she's taking damage, but the nice ultimate comes out there. She's taking damage, but she's healing it right back up with the circle rhythm. And her animation for her sprint animation where she flips her sword up, oh, that is so freaking cool. Everybody's flipping and spinning shit 
uh, as Dapper Dice says, whatever they do, their, their sprint animations. Catches Steel with a nut and roots him. Okay, we're going into Twin Blast. Uh, it looks like he's got a skin on as well. That just This uh, Chinese client video is just all about the skins. He got rewound, it looks like, by Wraith. I think that's what happened. Did he get... Yep, that was Wraith, but Wraith... It wasn't enough. He takes down Wraith. And Twin Blast just firing on all cylinders here. Dealing a ton of damage. It's good to see a carry doing a whole lot of damage. He's extremely low in health. Pops his ultimate. Oh, but Murdoch takes a knee and snipes him with the long dong. But Murdoch did die for that. Here he comes again. I guess we're just sticking with Twin Blast now. This skin uh, doesn't look like there's... It's just kind of a color change, maybe. I don't know. It looks like a mastery skin. He's got white hair. Maybe this is an old man goose skin. He is, it's old Twin Blast. <laughs> Fire... The, the ultimate looks like it's uh, fairly effective. That's his old um, ultimate from Legacy Paragon, where he, he transforms and just fires a bunch of shots in, a bunch of rockets. I think that does AoE damage when it hits. Fired away. He rooted the Countess as she was trying to sprint in. She jumps on top of him. He immediately blinks away. That was a good idea because Countess could melt him easily. He fires the ultimate in, and now he's going to get away by the skin of his tits here. Coming, he's on fire from something. Something lit him on fire. I don't know what it was. Running into mid lane, immediately finds a target and just blasts away on them so fast. So much damage, so quickly coming out of this twin blast. Oh, the big dash! He jumped and dashed while on a ledge, and it gave him all kinds of uh, all kinds of range. And that's it for this one, guys. Paragon the Overprime has a global beta test starting on November 9th at 9 p.m. through November 21st at 5 a.m. Those times are for NA East. No need for keys or any of that shit. Just download the game from Steam or Epic Game Store when it's live. Also, Jelly Knees and I will be casting a tournament held by Get Through Gaming on the 19th and the 20th, so if you're interested in that, check out their Discord link below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub for more third-person MOBA content, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Man Goose! Special shout out to channel members Stunt, Covetous Lemon, The Beard Wolverine, Pizza Face, Pusey, El Draco King, Oda, F6, Actual Dez, Joshua Ben Noctis, Soul Reaper, J Man 63, Levy, Version 2, Dapper Dice, Lionheart Official, Clorox TV, Raven, Blastoise King, Meow Mix for Men, Jelly Knees, and our top gifter, I Blood Hunter.